better. It's f2.8. So the problem I have with this lens is the focusing. When it travels, it, it, it gets jammed. And what it is, is the grease inside, like on the, on the barrel, on the groove, mixed with dirt and dust and so on. Uh, that's why it's stiff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dis disassemble it and clean it and put it back together. This is actually an adapter for the cannon. So this is a three tapered screws. So that's part one. Okay, so this here, this ring here is manual and automatic. Pull that out. And here there's gonna be a little spring and a ball bearing that you have to um, uh, you have to remove it's on the side here it's on the side of this uh, this notch here this here is for the um, it's for the aperture I'm gonna take that out as well okay so that's the notch here that control that little cam inside so when you put it back okay so there's a little spring here I'm gonna leave it there uh, there's it seems to holding there but but yeah so just remember there's a little spring here and then that little ball bearing I just gonna put it aside and this is when you you focus uh, sorry when you change aperture from uh, f 2.8 to f22 this is the notch so that's that's your click yeah, the next step I'm gonna remove this cover here. Okay, so I'm using those uh, rubber compression tool. So I just put it here, hold the lens, and this is really easy. Just remove that. Okay, so I got my focusing ring. And yeah, it's jam here. All right, so the uh, this is my fancy wrench. This is the eBay special. I think there's better one out there. It's really easy to to slip and and do some damage, so we have to be really careful with those. So there's two little groove in there, retaining clip, and you have to unscrew it. There you go. So to make the least damage possible, you just unscrew that. Okay, so it's loose now. And you just lift that up. Inside here, there's that bolt. And that bolt is your stop. That raised part here of the focusing ring, that's your infinity stop. And that's your uh, minimum focusing stop. So at this two little screws here has to be removed. Optic assembly guide, pull that out. So it's a straight edge screw, the other one are taper like a V. And just like that, there you go. And this is your brass uh, little guide for your, um, for your optic assembly. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this out, just like that. So I unscrew that. All right, so now I'm just gonna clean the whole thing. Anything that's not optical, you know, like uh, glass, I use alcohol. Simple like that. Look at that, how dirty that is. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that together, and you want the black part sticking out, and this inside. I have to turn this way, like uh, counterclockwise, but just to get a feel for it, I just go clockwise just to, oh, here it is, okay. It's it's uh, easier than it looks. Sometimes you really have to to give it a few tries. Okay, so this I put that in, and that will be my first step. I'm gonna put grease on 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 those grooves here a little bit, as those are live treads. And those grooves here, this is for the uh, focusing ring. This one here that's gonna get attached. 
so this doesn't have to be uh, to be greased at all those grooves here will have to be greased but i'm gonna wait for that i'm gonna wait till i'm further in the assembly it's just it's less messy okay now we're gonna call this sleeve the depth of field sleeve because i don't know its real name this is from ebay there was different grade not grade but i should say different uh, viscosity and this one was uh, firm so it goes from uh, soft to firm and this is the firm one made for camera again maybe I'm making a mistake here I don't know if you have any knowledge on the matter please comment in the in the in the, in the section in the comment section Le leave your comment let me know what's right what's wrong just a little thin little layer nothing major in order to put that in uh, the uh, optic assembly has to be quite uh, forward, right? So, uh, oh, yeah. I want to go deep enough. Okay, so now the uh, sleeve with the depth of field assembly goes in. So you just want to turn and check if it grab. Okay, it grab. That's good. Okay, so now. This has to be lined up with the, the little um, can here for the automatic uh, aperture control. So I go one full turn. Okay, so remember that one full turn. I'm gonna put the uh, guide, uh, the brass guide little can here, which which the bolt from the optic assembly is is right here now it's lined up okay so at this point that sleeve the depth of field sleeve and the optic assembly uh, are lined up okay so now we know that this is um infinity infinity focus because the the part of the optical assembly is sticking out that way like this will be your film or your or your sensor here so it's closer and if it moves out that will be a minimum focus so now I know this is um, infinity all right so now what I want to do is put my focusing ring okay so here's my stop and it hits the screw right and here's my minimum. So that looks all right. It hits, but let's say just for demonstration purpose, it was like this, for example, a little higher. Oh, you see it, it rubs the, that, uh, that screw or that bolt. And same here, you know, so well, here it hits it, but obviously it's not deep enough. So I'm gonna use that mark that the factory made. Yeah. Uh, assuming it is, because it's nice and straight. So I don't know if you see it though, there's a mark here. And this is new to me. Okay, so I'm gonna use them as a reference. And then from there, if I have to readjust it, that's where I'm gonna go. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this uh, retainer here. So I'm holding the whole assembly nice and tight because I don't want it to move. Okay, this this is the glue here. So that was torque to there, so I remember that. And here you go. So right in the little notch. And then I'm gonna torque it. Okay, so perfect. This is nicely torque. Uh, the glue. Uh, marking is, is matching so it's tight so the focusing ring is attached and it goes from stop to stop this is lube I'm gonna put it to a close focus and I'm just gonna lube this part here the thin coat maybe that's too much I don't know Anyway, that seems uh, reasonable. There you go. So a nice little 
firm lance grease. Oh yeah, that feels really nice actually. A little grease on the on the spring. I'm grabbing the uh, ball bearing. I'm gonna put it on top. Basically, the grease to hold the ball bearing in place while I line this up. Cause this is a little tight. And I think I got it. If I adjust my aperture, there should be a click. There you go. Manual ring goes here. And this here, there's an opening here. And that goes where the M and automatic is. Where it sits. Now I take my three little tapered screw. Yeah. So I just put them in place first. I don't screw them in all the way. Final torque. Okay, so uh, you just like screw it back in. The camera is all back together. I'm very happy with the way the, the focusing ring travel. Uh, it's a little bit firm. It's okay. The aperture, uh, that's not really uh, pronounced. Like it's, it's, it's really light. I think it's just worn out. This lens, I took it apart more than once is because I didn't take enough uh, reference picture. I didn't do enough marking. And what happened is when you take, let's say, uh, one of the, uh, one of the sleeve, if you don't count the turns, um, it, what happened is when you put it back, uh, it has to be the right amount of turns. And I learned that and I mean, it'll, it'll go back together, but it won't work properly. One way to put it back together. And that's what I learned a little more marking and a little bit more uh, reference photo, especially the turns, like the amount of turns. This lance is nicknamed the Eagle Eye. Uh, that was his nickname back in the days. Uh, because it was sharp. It was known to be a sharp lens. I'm gonna go test that with the Canon here. I'm gonna post a few picture. That lens, if you come across, not too expensive. I think it's well worth it. And uh, if you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe. Thank you.